Hi guys, welcome to another beer review and uh, today venturing into the Mickle Beer Club and a uh, very dark label on camera. There we go, we'll arch it like that. Uh, so we're going over to Mickle New York for this one and this is a can of the Wishful Drinking which is described as a New England style IPA at 6% ABV. Um, unfortunately, um, it was canned on November 2019 on the 19th we're now on the 6th of February but saying that I find that hoppy beers stay really quite fresh uh, when they're in cans so hopefully it should still be good uh, we were forewarned that this was uh, an older can so no need to worry so uh, yeah gorgeous artwork from uh, Keith Shaw and his team there nice green label so I've not had something from uh, Mickler New York for a while so uh, let's see what we get and as always with these reviews, uh, link down below to my referral link if you want to get in on the Mikla Beer Club action. Although if you're in the if you're in Europe, uh, it's worth having a quick look um, on their shipping um, list because quite a few countries recently um, they're not able to ship any beers out to. I think due to like duty in Denmark, I'm not too sure. So it might be worth just having a look. And uh, yeah, beer in a glass, turbid, chicken stock. It's got that sort of slight uh, peachy look to it. Uh, it looks fantastic, actually. Beer poured with the, just a lining of white head. So let's see what we get on the nose. It still smells really nice and vibrant. It's got a sweet... There's like a little bit of blueberry there. A little bit of melon, mango, pineapple lovely sweet clementine sort of a citrus character coming through and there's just a general sweetness <clears throat> which is really satisfying on the nose it's off to a good start smells great let's give it a taste cheers wow I like how forward. It's retained its hot profile really, really nice. Uh, it's obviously I can imagine this being a little bit more vibrant, fresher, but it doesn't taste stale by any stretch. Lovely, gentle, creamy mouthfeel. Upper end of medium, I would say. So satisfying. Gentle bitterness on the back end. It is more of a sweeter sort of New England style IPA. Yeah, I'm getting quite a pronounced sort of tart berry-like character coming through. You know, like a hint of lychee. It's got a little bit of like an old school um, flavour to it, stone fruit character. But then you get the vibrant tropical citrusy um, flavours in there as well. Really nice and balanced. Doesn't get too sweet, uh, but it is a sweeter New England IPA. Yeah, drinkable as anything. It's got a nice level of, you know, it's creamy. There's like a crispness, a little bit of a tang, prickles on the tongue. But then it goes smooth as silk for the remainder of its time in your mouth. Um, don't know what that means, but whatever. And uh, yeah, it certainly looks apart. And yeah, if you were to give me this without me knowing that it was brewed... <laughs> You know, January, December, just shy of three months, I would not have guessed it. It's like a slight yogurty, peach yogurt sort of character as well. Mm. I like that a lot. It's nice and simple. A nice, simple, sweet New England style IPA. Bags of character, nice body to it. And uh, yeah. Lovely, lovely stuff. So in terms of a rating then for Wishful Drinking, I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10. Highly recommended. Um, although by the time you're seeing this, I can't imagine too many people would be uh, stocking this can. Uh, but if they brewed it again, I think you're in for a real treat. You really, really are. Anyway, 8 out of 10. Go check out Mickler New York. And uh, yeah, I've got a few beers from uh, Mickler New York on the channel now. Um, there are some parts of um, the Mikula, you know, um, 
breweries that I want to try um, get my hands on some of their facilities around the world but I've been really impressed with the New York stuff very much so so yeah highly recommended if you ever see a Michael in New York beer to give it a try and from when I've seen it even like in Brewdog um, because I know they get quite a bit of Michaelis stuff now it's always been really reasonably priced you're paying not that much more than a domestic sort of um, IPA sometimes of course some do demand a higher price tag but you know that's just the way it is I suppose anyway highly recommended either way and um, yeah, so go check out Mikla New York, check out Mikla, check out my playlist on the channel as well. And yeah, if you've tried it, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions down below. <coughs> Lovely burp. Anyway, thanks for watching guys, and I shall hopefully see you next time. Cheers.